When creating an assembly, it's important to accurately model all of the parts and subassemblies to ensure accurate fitment and function. However, some items within the assembly might not require physical modeling. For instance, it would be helpful to model a fastener to ensure the length and diameter are correct, but it would be unnecessary to model the liquid thread locker applied to it during assembly. Tracking and calling out that thread locker is still required, however, to track needed quantity and to ensure that it is identified as a required part of the assembly process. Onshape tracks non-geometric entities through the use of items in the assembly bill of materials. To add items, an Onshape professional or enterprise subscription is required. The items available in the assembly BOM must exist within the company settings. A user with owner or administrator privileges can create items and set up classifications of materials or supplies. Users within an enterprise can also be granted permission to manage non-geometric items through the global permission settings. To manage non-geometric items, navigate to the company settings from the account pull-down menu in the upper right. Classifications serve as groups for non-geometric items, such as adhesives or lubricants. For classifications, within the company settings, choose Properties from the menu. Select Classifications from the Properties list. The classifications in use are shown in the existing list values. A text box is available to add new list values. The new list values must be entered one value per line and may contain commas. To save the changes to the classification list, click Save Changes at the bottom of the page. Once the classifications have been set up, individual items can be added within each classification group. Select items from the menu. Select create to start a new item. Items can be added individually or multiple items can be added from an imported CSV file. To add an individual item, select item. Enter the properties for that item, such as name, description, part number, and revision. Add any other additional information, such as vendor, project, or product line. Finally, add classification to group the item. The item is only visible and available to users once the published state is set to active. Once all the information has been added, select Create to accept. To import a CSV, select Create and Import CSV. The CSV must have column headers corresponding to the individual properties that are entered when manually creating a new item, such as name, description, part number, and unit of measure. A column header of published state should be included in the CSV, with values set to pending. This allows review of the imported items prior to publishing. If this column is not included, the items are set to active by default and are unable to be modified. Once the CSV table is imported, a dialog displays to review the table and the items to be added. The table is color-coded. Green indicates the fields are valid, while red indicates they are invalid. For invalid rows, hovering the mouse over the row may give some insight into why it is invalid. Selecting Import finalizes the process, creating the items listed in the table. By creating items, Administrators can ensure standardization of BOM non-geometric entities available to users. Tracking these items ensures accurate supply chain management and indicates critical materials required for the assembly process. Adding items to the BOM is discussed in the next video.